Once upon a time there was a wealthy merchant who had three daughters. The youngest of the daughters was called Beauty. The sisters did not like her because she was everyone's favorite. One day the father was going to go to the city and asked his daughters what to bring as a gift. The older sisters asked for precious dresses and adornments, and the youngest asked for a scarlet rose, the most beautiful in the world. The merchant became thoughtful, but okay. promised that he would do everything possible to find such a flower. And hit the road. The father quickly found gifts for the eldest daughters, but for the youngest he could not find them. Each rose that the merchant met on his way was more beautiful than the previous one. Wherever he was looking. And then the road led him into a dense forest. It was very dark and cold there. Suddenly lights appeared in the distance. Approaching, the merchant saw a huge ancient castle, all in gold and diamonds. Entering its gate, he entered a hall full of jewels. He saw that there was a table in the middle of the hall, and there were no dishes on it, and all the dishes were made of silver and gold. But the castle was empty, there was no one. The merchant thought that the owner would probably come any minute. He waited an hour, two, three, no one showed up. The merchant could not resist and sat down at the table. Having eaten from the belly, the old man hit the road. Driving along the alley, the merchant saw a rose bush of unprecedented beauty and remembered the request of his youngest daughter. He drove up and picked the most beautiful rose. At the same moment, lightning flashed, thunder struck, there was a roar, and rose, as if out of the ground, in front of the merchant, and not a beast or a man, but some kind of monster, terrible and furry. It was too angry that the merchant picked his favorite flower instead of thanking the owner for his hospitality. The old man was very frightened and said that he would do anything as long as he did not kill him. For such an offense, the beast agreed to marry one of his daughters. But only the one who wants to come herself, out of love for her father. And if none comes, then death to the merchant. The old man was grieving and decided to go home to say goodbye to his daughters. He did not want to give up any of them for a fierce beast. I got on my horse and went home. Having met the children, he gave gifts to everyone and told about his adventures. The older sisters pounced on the younger, they say, it was her fault she ordered a lousy flower, for which the father now has to pay with his life. To which Beauty replied that she would gladly go to the beast instead of her father. And so, the next day, Beauty hit the road. The horse quickly found its way back to the castle. Entering the hall, she found a table with exquisite wines and food. Beauty thought that the beast wanted to eat her, so she feeds her. As soon as she had dinner, there was a roar, and a terrible and hairy monster appeared, as if from under the ground. And the beast said to Beauty that since she herself came here of her own free will, it means that she has a good heart. And so the monster will also be kind to her. And with these words, the beast disappeared. Waking up in the morning, Beauty decided to take a walk entering one of the rooms, she saw an inscription on the table, whatever the beauty wishes, I will do. The girl thought that after all the monster is kind and probably he is not going to eat it. So they lived for a long time the beast treated beauty very well and fulfilled all her desires. One day the girl dreamed that her father was sick. She really wanted to visit him. The beauty tearfully asked the beast to let her go and promised that she would definitely come back. The monster replied that she was free and could return whenever she wanted. The next day, Beauty put on her most expensive clothes and went to her father. He was very happy to see his daughter safe and sound. Her sisters came running and saw that she had become even more beautiful and even dressed like a queen. 
A week later, Beauty had a dream that the beast was lying on the grass in the park and dying. She woke up in horror and decided to urgently return and cure him. When the girl approached the castle, she saw the lifeless body of the beast on the grass. Her heart was breaking with pity. The beauty rushed to him with tears and kissed him. And at the same moment lightning flashed, thunder struck, the whole castle was lit up with a bright light and music played everywhere. The monster disappeared, and in its place the most charming prince lay on the grass. He told Beauty that this evil fairy had bewitched him and turned him into a monster, until a young beautiful girl fell in love with him and wanted to get married. The Beauty gave him her hand, and they went to the castle. The next day, Beauty and the prince got married and healed happily ever after. This is how a good heart can break an evil spell.